name is that is if then word. This is how we denote the conditional statement. If P, then Q word. We also refer to P implies Q, where P is the antecedent part and Q is the consequent. Always remember that uh, the antecedent and consequent, the answer should always be a statement. So let's have an example. Identify the antecedent and consequent following statements. Okay. If our school was this nice, I would go there for the next school. So just remember that P is the antecedent and Q, P or consequent. So here, our antecedent, right after your if, that will be your antecedent. So, and it should be a statement. Our school was That is your antecedent and for consequent that will be then Q. Your Q will be your consequent. So we'll have I would go there. We're done. So you will not just include the if then words. Okay. For the incident and consequent. For us, your answer will be a statement. Letter B, if you don't get in that plane, you will regret it. So, our uh, incident are uh, after if, so we will have you don't get in that. For the consequent, you will regret it. Regret it. So that's how we identify the antecedent and the consequent. Through table for the conditional statement. For the conditional statement, uh, the conclusion will be false on the table or uh, consequent is false. So, given this, we have two statements, P and Q, and we get the implication or the conditional statement. We'll have P implies Q, so true implies. Then that is true. And it says there that if your consequent is false, your conclusion will be false. And then false implies true is true. False implies false is still true. But, both, but if both of them are false, you will have a true statement. How to determine the truth value of the given condition statements? Let's have an example. Determine the truth value of each of the following conditions. And so when we say uh, the truth value of the given statement, the answer is third or false. So, letter A if 2 is an integer, then 2 is a rational number. So, let's determine first for the one antecedent. Our antecedent. Here is for letter A. Two is an integer. Is it true? Two is an integer. The answer is yes. It's a statement. Then our consequent is two a rational number. So our consequent is two is a rational number. Is it a statement? Yes, because we can write in rational form, which is e for Q, for Q should not zero, which is two. Uh, can be written in over 2, 2 for 1 is a test. Since our consequent is true, so therefore the truth value for letter A is true. Next, letter B. If 3 is a negative number, so all is a test. And then our consequent is 5 greater than 7. We know that 5 is less than 7, so it's a false. 
stable. So therefore, um, if P and Q are both false, then it is true in all other cases. So therefore, the answer here is true. The truth value is true. Next, letter C. If 5 greater than 3, then 2 plus 7 equals 4. So we will, um, let's determine is 5 greater than 3. The answer is it's a true statement implies our consequent 2 plus 7 equals 4 is a true statement or a true statement. So obviously it's a false statement. Since our consequent is a false statement, so therefore the truth value for letter C is it's right. 